I'm Matt Bichard with NareachReit.com. I'm here at the New York Hilton for REIT Week 2017, NareEAT's Investor Forum. Joining me today is Sam Landy, the President and CEO of UMH Properties. Sam, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, in the first quarter of this year, UMH has already made a number of acquisitions. What does the rest of the year hold? Uh, at this moment, there's no new acquisitions contracted for, but we know we're going to add 800 rental units. and. We're building expansions. We're having our Memphis Blues opening. We just opened the Brookview expansion. Uh, our past acquisitions were very opportunistic based on you know, the economics. There, there, there was a recession. People needed to sell communities. It was a great time to be a buyer. Uh, now the competition for communities is much, much tougher, and we're not sure uh, that we'll find that kind of growth through acquisitions ever again. And as you look across your portfolio, what markets are particularly strong for manufactured housing right now? Well, Indiana was fantastic for us. We bought in Elkhart, Indiana with 22% unemployment. And at this moment, they're trying to figure out how to bring 25,000 new people to Elkhart, Indiana to fill all the jobs. You know, down to 3% unemployment, and uh, Elkhart's great. The whole Marcellus and Utica Shale area, you know, you have the cracker plants in the Pittsburgh and Ohio. You have the pipeline projects going on. Uh, you have the panda plants that take natural gas and directly convert it to electricity. So all of these things uh, generate uh, employment growth, housing demand uh, in Pennsylvania and Ohio and in areas where we are. And Nashville, of course, has been fantastic for us. And we're south of Nashville in Spring Hills where they reopened the Saturn plant. It's now a GM plant. Uh, we took a community, 360 lots, and about 60% occupancy when we bought it. It's in the high 90s now. And within one year, we're going to have uh, the approvals to build a 360 lot expansion. And we're doing other expansions in Nashville, too. So the only weakness in the UMH portfolio is Western New York. You're talking about two, three communities. We're stable there, but it's not strong. But with, with that exception, uh, all of our markets are fairly strong. So, so with the strong markets, um, are there any areas of concern as you look out for the second half of this year heading into 2018 that, that you're particularly keeping your eye on? Uh, I feel pretty comfortable that we're going to add 7.2 million in new revenue from the rental units that will get about a 3% rent increase, which is $3 million on our $100 million in revenue. So internal growth will be about $10 million per year. And I, I see that as occurring for the next five years. And on top of that, you have the acquisitions. Sales has been our weakness, sale of homes. We did 16 million in sales in 2006, and we made almost $2 million. Uh, for various reasons, sales have been impossible since about 2008, 2009. And you know, with changes in Dodd-Frank in the SAFE Act, with the possibility that we're going to get duty to serve legislation, which will uh, encourage banks to finance affordable housing, uh, all those things could increase sales so that we can, we can add 800 rentals and instead of selling only 100 homes, we could be selling 300 homes. And sales have not been profitable for UMH since 2006. They operate at almost a $2 million loss and that could easily swing to a $2 million profit and, and that's an area where we have a possibility of you know, substantially growing income. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. For more from REIT Week 2017, be sure to visit REIT.com.